Were it not that God repels people by means of others, monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques, where the name of God is mentioned much, would have been demolished. Tomorrow is going to be a significant day for all of us, for all of those who were present in the land of Karbala on the tenth day, and for those who will come later and hear about the event. Abbas whispers to himself as he walks around the tents guarding. Opposite the few number of tents of Hussein's family and companions, the huge army of the enemy have settled. Abbas, who is a half-brother to Hussein, has relatives in the army of the enemy who have offered him a safe conduct. But he finds the truth with Hussein and the few people who have remained with him. Thinking to himself, if I accept a safe conduct, if I stay alive, wouldn't I be more helpful in guiding people towards light? They already know they are on the wrong path and they will prefer the short, shameful life of this world over the immortal life in the hereafter. Abbas replies to himself. All the men of the family and companions of Hussein have been martyred. Only Hussein and his half-brother Abbas have remained. Abbas, tired of the cruelty of the enemy, tired of this worldly life, is eager to receive the permission of Hussein to fight. Children are thirsty. Shall we go get some water for them? Says Hussein. There is no reason to disagree. He knows that his leader will offer him the most beautiful and effective way to complete his mission. Shoulder to shoulder, they ride towards the river. Hussein is wounded and is stopped by the enemy. The scene seems to belong to Abbas only, to portray the most heroic way of accomplishing his mission.